Sziasztok, ott vagyunk a Minecraft Story Mode másik hívodát. Itt azért van és tartom egy teljesen, hogy se nem jut össze a Zero Death. És én nem akarok egy halal sírját, azt csinálni. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin. A villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a bow who's never exactly as he sees? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Yeah, or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Vagy akkor a halál kerültünk. Na, a több dolgot tudjuk meg a cen. Edmir. Hogy honnan jött? És így hárman voltak. Everyone, everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerm. <sighs> can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not llama. some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings. Come on, Jack. Give Luna a chance. She could be a big help if you let her. I'll believe it when I see it. First world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. I haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here, it used to be beautiful. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be, but now, guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do. Still, seeing it like this. Romeo, the admin. Oh, it's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life-altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? Enderman. That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could 
go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> that is it. So mesmerizing. Not at the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. There you go. Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. No. Okay, yeah. Do, do you guys see? Jesse, you gotta go. Because I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's... Home? Oasis. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? Well, wow, so you kind of oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just... need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet! <laughs> Yourself! Uh, you okay there, Jack? <laughs> no, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. Hey, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on the poor llama, please? I do, I... Oh, I just, I want... I'm sorry. I think I let my mighty emotions get the better of me there. Sorry, Luna. We will get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home! Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? 
Find this one thing, one last thing still whole. There's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. It's just a bed, Zara. You can get another one. No sheep anymore, Jesse. No wool, no wood. Needs Vada, needs job, you. over here by this uh it's a portal what it's a portal broken now like everything else just leave me here go don't lose hope okay we can still do this if you help us i doubt that but what about the portal where does it go anyway nowhere obviously it's broken we built these so we could visit each other an object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. It's full of information. Set the birch. We build it and get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Well, if you don't fix it, then we're stuck down here. Can't get up to the prison. You really want to live here in the dark forever? You make it sound so appealing. We don't have any other options here. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. So Fred has... Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Jack! I'm okay! Go! 
Need to stop saying that. You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. Good, so good. You don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kind of sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Magmatastic? Asa got your little slimy tongue. What are you hiding? Admin must not care about them too much. Otherwise, you'd be popping in to save them, right? Good point. We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? Why I'm here is none of your business. Fair enough. You can't be too careful down here. No telling who might want to kill you. No, the cliff you're hanging off might do the trick first. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Oh, my arms are tired. So tired. You make a compelling argument. What? Shh. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> Folks, down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us. What with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <laughs> A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. God, I'm to call you. Come on, come on. Just go close there. Gotta get some leverage. <laughs> Unlike the English there, I can do this all day. Or night, I suppose. Go down! Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies. World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Go back, ya stink bags! Jack! Jesse! Ugh, I'm so glad you're okay. Where's Jack? He didn't make it. Muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're right. Thanks, Jesse. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? She's a treasure sniffing llama, right? Treasure sniffing, not jack sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. 
Csak kincsét tudtam. Nem ember. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. before and, and I know everyone everyone in the underneath Binta! she's not coming back is she someone in there has to know where that weapon is let's go careful they might be well armed and now they know we're coming have been returned festivities will close with the fireworks display as usual and don't forget to sign up for our faithful friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't Fred, let okay. win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Fred o'clock. They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? We're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world's falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like. Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look. Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. Okay. This place is weird. Fred like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You trade. craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know... Got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. Okay. It's important, okay? So, it's like a machine. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never this guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. We don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Alright, time 
to make a painting. I call it gay season first. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color, not just any blue, lapis blue. Yeah, I want the lapis blue. It's fun to see for my too. Same color as my underwear. That's like right, awesome. <laughs> Hey, dear little guy, I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog, what are you? Oh no, waffles! Yeah, I was the one guy. Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Jó, akkor készen állok. Ez minden. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Again. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent, and we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse, it's Jesse. Jesse. That feeling of intimidation, totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent, be my best friend. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Uh, a lovely story. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best gone. at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How could you say that? That 
That thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw. This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's I'm kind of awesome. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time Fred, begins you now. Do. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. Silence from the audience, please. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? <laughs> we actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. Whoa. That is correct. Jesse, get to, I am <laughs> rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, oh, you might kidding. finally lose your title. <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. Such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, it no, wasn't his fire. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, uh, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. Oh, oh. Didn't Sara say something about this? Could have been jungle or birch? I don't... It's birch. It's birch! You... Yes. 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 Birch was Fred's favorite. Ah, I don't Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! That's all the one. Congratulations. That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon, oh, so a sword, where would I be? Hold on. No one will mind if I just. Secret room. It's gotta be 
be something down here. Only that. Yeah, so can you cause all who journeys with the tear keep it? Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is so Romeo? Zalma építette egy várost. Az egyik Romeo, az oázi szára, Fred's keep it egy Fred. És a ketten él köztük. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left uh, Fred, uh, the cabin. Uh, we weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home, and he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Terrible copy. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Vinta. Jesse, I. There's something I need to ask you about. Uh, How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before, well, before this place was considered underneath. I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Maybe I thought of it. I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find. Romeo, did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there. Then you must have a way back. Take us with you above the bedrock. Bob, Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo, you welcomed us in. Of course, we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning. And we've been safe here so far, but it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he. <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. So, I know I can trust you with this. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, give that back! Ugh, thanks.
I can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I, what? No, it, I, I am a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. It was. Ha, ah, a likely story. Uh, well, you were the one who was totally obsessed with Jack. I'm so sorry. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves. Ugh. 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 Uh, rough ride. <laughs> no, not for you. Man, uh, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah. What's up with you? Not dog. Break it off. Let's try. Dodge. when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But hey, eventually, you know, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floors, became clear. Sometimes. Doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... Uh, are you done? Please? Please be done? Huh? Yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Not even a little bit. I see a smile. Nope, I'm not smiling. Not even a TV. No. Get in here, Petra. What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. 
How could I not? Looked like you, That's sounded right. like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, aka the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, aka you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, well, I mean, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's oh, certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. And then we'll end up caught. Make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good, but what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. I tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure you'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Not very good. Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! Who's <laughs> <laughs> Ah! You saw nothing. Oh, we all just saw that, right? I I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get anywhere. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. have you I uh, think we need to go into that building behind you if that's okay uh you know it is in fact not okay okay now just move along and don't go anywhere near the building or we will sick our army on you or we'll sick our army on you <laughs> we don't want to unleash the force of our army and it's a mighty army I fought creepers zombies a giant computer a wither storm Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. Uh, that's weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not going to ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, yeah it's right. the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Nothing is scarier about an army than its sound. Yeah. 
Did you not hear me? I said bring it on. I'm ready to fight this army of yours. Yeah, yes. Oh, oh, and they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> All right, we... We don't have an army. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Romeo Kiva. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah! Duh. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison, the Sunshine Institute. I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right, on it! <laughs> what are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, you've got a pet llama too. Yeah, she's my pet. We've got a real bond. Yeah, oh, so I can see. <laughs> Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a small <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> huge flower. <laughs> Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. <laughs> oh wow, that will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yes, wonderfully horrifying. Entering. Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Okay, it's very bad. Good 
Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. Upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Congratulations, challenges! Stage one of six hundred. Hot sauce. Complete. What? Stage two. There's some kids and kids in the fog. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this zone. Three levers got us into this zone. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Bust the middle. Put the blade. Yeah. <coughs> Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it! Pull, 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 pull. Mind 
Grind them down to size. Even keep asking. <laughs> wow. This is the first place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Uh-huh. Petra? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me. I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens, rabbits that can't find carrots. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both yes. know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
I see them one by one just leaving. No, it looks serious. I know you're not worried. You've got your own people, your own life. I I don't have anyone without you guys. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. Maybe you don't really care. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Zara. There she go. Blue for Fred. Red one. It's one Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are, what, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. And not a very good one. I, oh, I hate potatoes. Please stop saying potato. Sorry. I guess I should say hashtag potato 451. Mr. yes. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Maybe you don't, but I can't help it. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but I Fred Romeo, wrote that Romeo just it. wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but 
I do kind of feel like you'd get mad if I didn't want to adventure anymore. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to lose you. And that doesn't make it okay. I, I know that. I've been thinking a lot about our conversation before. About what I should be doing. And I think I've realized whatever it is, it's not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the floor. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. This is it, then! It's time to call the others. We're getting out of here. I couldn't be too bad, though. I'll be happy, but... is hidden for a reason, to keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. I'm doing their thing. Great. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things, make everything messy, inefficient. It takes a village, Zara. You knew that once. Right. And then I learned that lesson. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He Fred went to Romeo man. with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped. Once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Going after revenge would make us just like Romeo, Zara. We're better than that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see if Romeo understands anything but violence. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Amen. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. 
All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? How do you feel? Training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline swamps totally paid off. Check who is that? You thought a little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Someone's gotta catch me up here. They're on our side. They helped us back in Fred's keep. Or the barrier. Time to let my sword get a taste of monster hide. It's hungry. Yeah! We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. Okay. That 
Okay, she said. Yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. I know! But if I do that, it'll let everyone get through the portal safe and sound. Rayhart, that's brilliant! Thanks, Jesse. No way. That is the worst plan. The worst. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. Keep it left behind. <laughs> is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Yes, sir. Go for it, Radar. I'll see you topside. Come and get some of this! Oh, yeah, that's right! I'm talking about these huge arms! He has this. He's giving us an opening. Man, Everyone man. now! Ken, come on! You could ask more nicely. But where? Anywhere has got to be better than here. Portals ever. <laughs> I'm with the llama. <laughs> Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing. Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. Radar deserves to stand here too. He's just as much a hero as the rest of us. He gave no. Benta's people the chance to escape and help us stop the admin. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. We'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Ez csak egy maradt. Még három videót csinálok ebből. Jó, ennyi. were over I was content to let life pass me by that is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye they said Jack do you think you can give me a hand for mine is trapped in a glove from the sea I thought I had left the seas behind but the seas came a calling for me It's a lonely road for a hero The road is a bittersweet friend For the road is cold and it's hollow But it's all you'll have left in the end Sure there is glory In my tragic backstory But that is not why I'm small For nothing builds shoulders like regrets big as bold Sure is the grief takes its toll. I'm thankful my arms are so ripped. 
wept or I'd been crushed from the start. And I'm grateful my pecs are so jacked to hold the pain of my broken heart. My friends' faces, they'll never leave me. So I wrote them this sad serenade. For the curse of a memory that's perfect is that those faces, they'll never fade. Bless of my eye. <clears throat> it's a lonely road for a hero, but I won't be alone at its end. For I will wait in the shallows until we meet again. Until we meet again. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Lloyd. Where are the others? Rohati. Okay. Ako ez az a finálé. Jesse, igaz a finálé, jó. Jó van. Még a nővel is befejezem is, az, az még nem haltam meg egyszer sem. De, majd meglátjuk, hogy sikerül úgy marni. Mennyi volt? Szevasztok!